In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate the magnification of a microscope. The first way to calculate magnification is to look at the eyepiece and objective lens of the microscope. The eyepiece lens is the one you look down, and it often has a magnification of 15 times. There are usually three objective lenses, and these have different magnifications, for example, 4 times, 10 times, and 40 times. To find the total magnification, we multiply the magnification of the eyepiece lens by the magnification of the objective lens. So magnification equals eyepiece times objective. For example, a microscope has a 10 times magnification eyepiece lens and a 4 times magnification objective lens. Calculate the total magnification. Magnification equals eyepiece times objective. The eyepiece magnification in this case is 10 times and the objective lens is 4 times, so the total magnification is 40 times. The second way to calculate magnification is to look at the actual and image size of an object. The actual size is the real size of an object. The image size is the size that the object appears after it's been magnified. To find the total magnification, we use the equation magnification equals image size over actual size. For example, a 0.01 cm object was magnified so that it appeared to be 0.4 cm. Calculate its magnification. Magnification is equal to image size over actual size. The image size, the size the object appeared, was 0.4 cm, but its actual size was 0.01 cm. 0.4 over 0.01 gives you a magnification of 40 times. Here are some practice questions for you to try. Pause the video and give these a go. For the first question, we use the equation magnification equals eyepiece times objective. The eyepiece is 10 times magnification, objective is 40 times, that gives us a total magnification of 400 times. We use the same equation for the second question. Magnification equals eyepiece times objective. The magnification is 60, the objective magnification is 4 times, so 60 equals eyepiece times 4 times, which means that 60 over 4 gives us the eyepiece magnification, and that's 15 times. For the next question, we use the other magnification equation. Magnification equals image over actual. We know that the image size is 6 millimeters and the actual size is 0.03 millimeters. 6 over 0.03 is 200 times. We use that same equation for the next question. Magnification equals image over actual. This time we've got the actual size in millimeters and the image size in centimeters. So we need to convert those centimeters into millimeters so that the units are the same. You could convert them both into centimetres, it doesn't matter as long as the units are the same. 2 centimetres is 20 millimetres, so the image size is 20 millimetres and the actual size is 0.4 millimetres. 20 over 0.4 gives us a magnification of 50 times. We use the same equation for the next question. We know that the magnification is 40 times and we know that the actual size is 0.05 millimetres. If we multiply both sides by 0.05, that means that 40 times 0.05 is equal to the image size. 40 times 0.05 is 2 millimetres, so that is how big the object would appear. For the last question, we use the same equation again. We know the magnification is 20 times, and we know that the image size is 0.1. 20 millimetres equals 0.1 over the actual size, and if we rearrange that, we find out that the actual size is 0.1 over 20 millimetres. 0.1 over 20 is 0.005 millimetres, which is the actual size of the cell. Thanks for watching. I hope the video has been helpful for you, and I'll see you in the next one.